guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to use GunBot version 5 and pretty much everything you need to do in order to use it on Mac, uh, Linux, on a Raspberry Pi, or on Windows. Uh, so this is pretty much the full tutorial on how to get it up and running. Um, I'm not going to be showing any pairs in this video, but you can check out my other videos for that. Anyways, let's get right into it. Uh, so the reason why I have this uh, text edit window open is because I'm on a PC, obviously. I'm going to show you guys what commands you need to enter on a Mac or on a Raspberry Pi in order to get it running. And I'm pretty sure you have to do the same thing on Linux, too. Uh, so anyways, first thing you, what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to copy the file path of uh, where the file is for GunBot. Uh, so for example, my GunBot is right here. Uh, so you know this would be like this PC, uh, the drive, and then... Uh, you know the folder name uh, but you can copy the file path on a Mac or on a Raspberry Pi very easily and all you need to do is you need to type into your uh, console is CD so just CD and then uh, paste in the directory and uh, you're good that's that's pretty much it and you hit enter right and so what that will do is it'll put you in the folder so you can go ahead and access uh, anything that's in that folder for GunBot and uh, so next what you guys are going to want to do is chmod uh, plus x. What this does is it gives the uh, program uh, permissions to do everything it needs to do um, and pretty much run without any issues. So what you guys are going to do is chmod plus x and then the name of the file. So, you know, yours might be gunthy mac os or something like that. And then you hit enter. And then that will uh, that won't input that won't output anything. Sorry, um, it'll just bring you to another line. And then finally, that's all you need to enter in. And then you're going to want to type dot slash and then the name of the file. So if I'm doing this on Mac, uh, Gunthy Mac OS. And then you hit enter and it executes the file, and uh, you'll be able to see everything, right? And uh, if you want to stop it, you can close the window, but if you just want it to be easier, so you can just always just type uh, dot slash in the name of the file, you can just uh, type command, or sorry, control C. Uh, it has to be control C uh, on the console window, and it will terminate the program from running. Um, so that's pretty much how you run the program initially on uh, Mac or Linux or on Raspberry Pi. Uh, next, I'll show you guys what to do uh, once you have the file uh, downloaded. So once you guys have the file downloaded, of course you're going to want to extract it to the uh, to whatever location you'd like. Uh, you know, sometimes people don't extract it, they accidentally just open this folder and then start running it from there. So it's important you guys remember to extract it. Uh, next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to double click on the folder, obviously. And uh, so here you have the most important things, right? So Gunthy Mac OS, this is the uh, this is the one you guys are gonna be using on Mac. Uh, Gunthy ARM is what you're gonna be using on the Raspberry Pi. So if you guys are running this on Raspberry Pi, make sure you do what I just explained on Gunthy ARM, and then obviously if you're on Linux, uh, you can go ahead and do that on Linux. Um, and then of course there is the uh, .exe, and this is for Windows. Uh, this is the one that I will be showing you guys right now. Uh, so this is the most important file right here. This is where all your settings go. Some of you guys may be used to the uh, GUI version. That makes it very easy to put in the settings. But, you know, I would argue this is also pretty easy. So all you have to do is you go have to go ahead and hit uh, edit right here. Uh, you can go ahead and hit run. Uh, okay, and then here you will have all of your information. Uh, this is where you're going to be changing all your settings, putting all your pairs in, uh, your API key and everything. So anyways, I'm going to go over the uh, basic sections. So here we have the pairs section. So as you guys know, you can run multiple exchanges on one gun bot. So that's why it shows all of this. Um, but obviously, you're just one, if you're just running one exchange, you only have to look at that one exchange name. So we have Poloniex, Kraken, Bitrex, and Cryptopia. Next, we have the exchange's API keys. So for example, if my API key was 123, which obviously it isn't, but just, just an example, you go ahead and enter that in right there, and then your secret right there if I was using Poloniex. And uh, make sure, guys, that there are no spaces before or after uh, your key that you have entered in. That is very important. I see a lot of guys, you know, messing up on that. Um, anyways, next, uh, we're going to scroll down a little bit more. 
Uh, these are some basic bot settings. Uh, if you are using the uh, TradingView extension, uh, you will have to enable watch mode and then you will have to go ahead and enter your email and password uh, for your TradingView account in order for uh, GunBot to access your TradingView account and get you know alerts from that. Uh, but that's if you're only use that's only if you're using the TradingView extension, uh, which you pay separately for. If you guys aren't using that or don't know what that is, then just ignore what I just said. Uh, anyways, next section is the strategy section. This is another very important section. Uh, so here we have all of the strategies that you may have seen on the GUI, except we have separate sections for each one of them. So you can see uh, Bollinger Band, uh, Gain, you know, uh, Ping Pong, Step Gain, and then you have the combined settings of, you know, instead of it just being one pure setting, you have, you know, Bollinger Band, Ping Pong, or something like that, right? And so whichever one is first, so for example right here, Whichever one is first is the buy, so step gain would be the buy, and then gain would be the sell. Um, so that's pretty much how this section works, right? And so let's say, for example, I'm using BB step gain. This is usually what I use, right? So um, you would have to go ahead and enter your uh, settings that you like. So I like, I like to, uh, you know, maybe buy at around 30 uh, for the Bollinger Band. And then you have your uh, cell levels for uh, step gain. So pretty much, you know, you can set this to whatever you want. I'm just showing some settings that I might like using. Um, but anyways, you enter your step gain settings right there. And then after that, you have some important settings down here. So here, here we have a buy enabled true, a panic cell, and double up. Now, pretty much what happens with a panic cell is say the whole crypto market is crashing, right? Uh, you want to quickly sell all of your altcoins with GunBot, and you can go ahead and do that by disabling buy. So you just change this to false, and you go ahead and change uh, panic sell to true. Now, what I initially thought whenever I started using this is that, oh, panic sell is just like, if it starts crashing, the bot will automatically detect it and sell. Uh, no, it just sells no matter what. So it's important that you turn buy enabled off and then panic sell on if you want to sell all of your cryptocurrency. All right, but uh, for now, we'll go ahead and change this back uh, just for the example. Um, next, we have stop limit. This is pretty much your stop loss for any of the coins. So if you want your stop loss to be, say, 15%, you can go ahead and enter 15, and, uh, and then that will be your stop loss. And you have your minimum volume to buy and sell, and your uh, the BTC trading limit, which is how much the uh, bot trades. And obviously for each setting, you have to go through all of them and make sure that the settings are the same yourself. The bot does not do it for you. You have to enter in all of the settings. Um, one last thing is uh, double up. So that's pretty much some of you guys may be asking me, like, oh, why is my bot buying double the amount I allowed it to buy? This is probably because you enabled double up. You can just turn that to false if you want. Um, but, you know, that's just based on your use case or whatever. Um, so next what I'm going to show you guys is pretty much what you can do if you uh, want to customize a certain pair, right? So you're up here. Say I'm using Bitrex, okay? So pretty much how this section works is you have all your pairs here, and uh, if you want to add a pair, you can just go ahead and copy it, you know, paste it right there, and just move this over. Um, so pretty much right there, I just added a new pair, and then I can change this to whatever I want. Um, and then, you know, pretty much what this does, what this section can do is here you write your uh, strategy. So if, for example, if I wanted to use step gain, right? Uh, I can just use step gain for this pair, type it in right there, uh, and then there you go. And then this override section, you can leave blank if you just want to use your default settings that you entered uh, for that certain strategy down here. So say for example, I just wanted to use all of these gain settings that I already have uh, entered in. I can just type gain, and then that pair is ready to run, right? Uh, but say there's a setting that I don't like, and I want this pair to have a uh, different setting. So pretty much all you have to do here is go ahead and go over to the section with the brackets and paste in your setting, all right? Now what this does is that you can customize it specifically for this pair. 
Okay, so say I want to use all the default uh, step gain settings, except maybe this coin is doing really bad and I want to have easy access to it. So I can go ahead and type false in, and then what that will do is that will make it so this coin is not bought anymore, right? But this is just an example for this type of setting. You can do this with any of the settings on the bot. You can go ahead and uh, add them in here, and this pretty much overrides whatever setting you have uh, below it. These are pretty much the defaults, and you can put custom ones up here. Um, so, you know, hopefully that is, hopefully you guys now know how to use uh, GunBot version 5 and how to edit this document. You know, once you get used to it, it's really not that complicated. It's almost just as simple as the GUI, just in a different format. Um, and, you know, it, it is pretty, I think it is worth it to upgrade to this version because, you know, it has more advanced features and it's an overall more reliable bot probably. So, you know, I think you guys should go ahead and try it and see if you like it. Of course, you guys can always go back to version 3 um, if you don't like it with the GUI. Uh, and also version 5 may be coming out with a GUI soon, but if you always want to stay on top of the newest version of GunBot, then you will have to use uh, this uh, like console version. So uh, anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, leave any questions you have in the comments. Uh, join my Telegram group, which I'll leave in the description uh, if you need more help or if you want to buy GunBot. And uh, thanks for watching guys, and see you in the next video.